I want to go a little bit deeper about what I was talking about with the Hawk Tua girl, which is Haley Welch. But I know you guys don't know her by her name, so I'd say Hawk Tua. But Haley. I feel like Haley is also going to be caught up in the system, much like Mrs. Reese. But once again, what I've told you, when it comes to the black community, our girls have to twerk and get burps. It's different for women who are of a different race. Indian women, Asian women, white women, Hispanic women. These women aren't going to have to necessarily twerk and burps. Um, the hot to a girl just had to say something sexual. People are like, oh, you see what I'm saying? Because she's a white country girl. But if a black girl had said that same hawk to it, they'd be like, slut. Let's just call it what it is. If if hawk to a girl was black, they'd have been like, she's a slut. She's a whore. She's a 304. But because Helly Welch is a blonde white girl, it was just more shocking. And here's the thing. I'm not even going to say that's a racist thing because I don't believe it is. I believe that um, our community, the black community, has so far pushed ourselves down this sexual rabbit hole that when we say shit it's 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 it's, it's seen as quite normal if a black man comes down and says um i dick her down or i pipe her down or something that'd be like oh yeah that's black men for you but if some guy was a, a country boy and he came to say came and said i like the i would really like to pipe her down he's famous you know not everybody but you know what i mean that's something that could become famous but it, Black people are going to have a much harder time becoming famous off of silly stuff like Hot Tua or piping a girl down. They're going to be, it's going to be harder for them because we're already seeing sexuals. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and I hate when men say that. It ain't yeah. about being turned on. It's about seeing stuff that you're not supposed to see. Now, for a point of reference, you know, Shaq is Tanger Reese, um, a mentor, someone he's taken under his wing. Um, from her days at LSU, from winning national championship. Um, you know, he he made Angel Reese the first basketball NIL deal with Reebok um, once he got his position with Reebok. So, you know, he kind of comes off as a big brother mentor to her. But some of the things he said on the podcast was kind of foul, especially, you know, the way Angel Reese looks up to him. Um, just for a point, you know, when Angel Reese was suspended last year or she missed those games to start the year with LSU, she said her and, L and Shaq spoke almost every day. I just wanted to know who you might lean on the last week, week and a half. Who was, who was kind of that supportive cast for you? Who, who was there for you when you needed them? I talked to Shaq every day. We, we FaceTime every day. He checked on me, called me every single day to make sure I was good and he told me every day, like, this too shall pass, this too shall pass, this too shall pass. He's been here before. He knows what it takes. And just being able to have somebody like that was something that was really good for me. Um, he told me when I was right, he told me when I was wrong, told me what I needed to do to get back to where I am. And I know he, we're gonna probably call, he's gonna call me after the game if he hasn't already. Shaq even walked Angel Reese out, you know, with her coach and her, her family. Like he was an additional parent. And basically, you know, yeah, based on the age difference, he could be her father. So what would make Shaq make comments uh, like he did on the podcast? I'm going to play a clip of that and I'm going to uh, come back and we're going to discuss it. And, and women's beach volleyball, let's just say the, the net is 10. For women, it's lower just a little bit. I'm not saying lower to nine, five, nine, six, but just nine, nine. Just so we can dunk? Yes. No. No, see? Mm -mm. And, 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 and I hate when men say that. But listen, that's the only difference. I don't you, think what? so. What? Bro, you dunking and getting man, Trust me, the Jay. <laughs> trust me, the Jay. I'm I don't telling think you that. so. Bro, a pretty girl dunking on the rim, I'm watching that all the time. <laughs> you, you, you laugh at that. Imagine you. I'm not same, imagining. On, let me finish. Imagine you in the same little shirt you had on at the Wild and Night Show dunking. You know how many t shirts you're going to say? Because you're tripping. <laughs> oh, my God. What? <laughs> what? The same little church you have. Okay. Like, all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So here's my opinion on all of this. So one one thing I do want to say though, that clip in the beginning where he says, "When girls are dunking, you see stuff you you normally wouldn't see," or he says stuff says stuff you shouldn't see. He isn't talking about their body parts in that case, because he right after he makes that statement, he says, "Think about Caitlin Clark." 
her shooting from the logo, that's not something you're supposed to see in women's basketball. So when he meant dunking, he was talking when he said that, he said, you won't see things you're supposed to see because you're not no you don't normally see women dunking. That's something you shouldn't see. That's what he's referring to, not booty cheeks or, you know, the cookie. Okay, so let's continue on. Sorry guys, I'm gonna look over here to just make sure I'm not frozen. So let's talk about Angel Reese, Shaq, 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 and him. I know Shaq is 52. Angel is what 20 now, something like that. So some people are disgusted because he said, "Imagine you going out there and what you just saw her, her going out there in those shorts and dunking." And you know, people love to see that. Let's just be honest with ourselves. They would. There, there are a subset of people who watch track and field because the women are beautiful. They are athletic. They're beautiful. <laughs> and they're wearing little underwear, pretty much. Of course, people are going to want to watch that. But my pushback is for the people who are talking about Angel Reese. Well, let me talk about that. And let me say this. I am very aware that all this could be a publicity thing. I get it. Everything's marketing. And uh, we can always go with the mindset of, well, it was part of the plan. They said all this, so we would talk about it. Fine. I'm going to say this, and I'll probably say this every time, just maybe not every time. But I want to just get this out of the way since I just came back and I got to get back into the swing of things. I don't care. I don't care if that was part of the publicity. I don't care if it was all part of the plan. I don't care if it was part of the plan for us to talk about it. I don't give a fuck. I really don't. I'm being honest. I do not care because the premise of what we're talking about matters because Angel Reach and Shaq are famous. But there are people in reality, I mean reality, there are people who are living a normal nine to five, getting bills, 20 years old, 52 year old men. We are normal individuals here and you'll never see our lives. So I want to talk about that happening, but let's take Angel out of it. Let's take Shaq out of it. Let's just say that's a regular old man and that's just a regular old 20 year old. And now let's talk about the scenario because that's what matters to me. Okay. So if it was a 20-year-old who was wearing those kind of clothes out to a public event, is it wrong? Should she expect to be treated differently? Now, we know this individual. Hold on. Let me, uh, let me think, catch up here. We know this individual has uh, taken pictures that are seductive, uh, pictures that are sensual. Um, they do arouse certain feelings. Is it wrong for her to be uncomfortable if a man was to actually talk to her like that? Yeah, I think so. We've talked about this when it comes to the blue girls, if y'all know what I mean. Um, when we talk about women who put themselves out there like that, that doesn't mean that they really want to be talked to like that. And it, there is accountability. If you put yourself out like that, those certain men are going to come out the woodworks. So if you are on camera twerking that bo them booty cheeks or you got your booty cheeks out, you're going to attract certain men. And does it make it right that these men come to her like that? No, but I got to be fair in saying that these men, not every man is going to know if she's that kind of girl or not. If you put yourself out like that, men are going to be like, well, I mean, if she puts herself out there like that, I'm going to talk to her like that. You know? I'm sure we know of other, sorry, excuse me. I'm sure we know of other individuals who we see on camera all the time twerking them booty cheeks. And the second a man says something in the program, like, dang, girl, you got a big old booty. They're going to be like, what? Block. Or what? You're a weirdo creep. What? Now, sometimes it depends on how you look. We get it, man. Sometimes if you're a man who is handsome, tall, you meet the, you meet the priority, you meet the, and you have resources and you meet what a woman wants. She may treat you differently. That's how it goes. I don't really care if you like it. You don't like it. You men who get upset about that. It is what it is. Okay. It just is what it is. But I think that she would have a right to be upset because it, we all know that the internet world is so much different from reality. Because as we see this happen in other areas of our lives. We see people who are internet gangsters who when they get meet a real gangster, life goes a lot different. And it is true. If you spend the vast many, we know that Miss Reese here does spend a lot of time on the internet. So she she has a hard time separating herself from it. She knows there's creepy guys out there, but she don't expect to see them in person. But she got to know that those men really do exist. And they're really out there like that. She doesn't expect it to be Shaq because maybe it's like her father. Who knows? But when you're on the internet a lot and you're really caught up in all this kind of stuff, it's really hard to break yourself from reality. And what I 
see these women who get on there and they're doing the, you know, they're a blue girl or they're on Instagram being very sensual or they're on Twitch stream doing sensual stuff or they're on YouTube doing sensual things, um, twerking and all this other kind of stuff or just being very sexual. They, they, in their head, they can't see that there are real men who will talk to them like that in real life. They don't expect any man to come up to, to them and be like, damn, girl, let me get that ass. They don't expect it. They just expect everything to just be flowers and rainbows until it really happens to them, which is why we're always so cautious to tell these women, don't do this. The way you put yourself out there is how the world's going to treat you. They don't give a fuck if you think it's good or not. They don't care. People are not going to be able to separate you, the individual that they're seeing on camera and the person in real life, because some of us, yeah, some of us on camera, we play a character. But if that's the only way they've ever seen you, and every time they see you, that's how you are. Or when you do wear clothes, it's always right up your butt cheeks. There's nothing, they're going to have a hard time separating you from that. Because one of the complaints that I hear from people like Miss Reese here, and individuals who get in that, you know, in the hip-hop videos and stuff like that, or the blue girls and everything we said already. Once we see those people, they always get caught up and they don't know the real me. They don't know who I really am. I, I'm smart. I'm intellectual. I'm a PhD. I'm all these things. But it's like, girl, you don't present that to people and your notoriety or your fame may have came from you throwing them things out there. So nobody knows that you're smart. Nobody knows that you're uh, intellectual. Nobody knows that you read a thousand books, okay? Nobody knows, nor do they care. They're, I mean, who's going to sit down and be like, okay, what I'm going to do is before I even I think about talking to this girl, commenting on this girl, saying anything about this girl, even though in other cases they're, they're quick to take your string money, they want your donations, they want you to support them, <laughs> But you want these individuals who are supporting you. You want them to follow you. You want them to donate to your streams. You want them to sit down and what? Do what? Go watch an interview from you for a five-hour interview or something? Like, where are they supposed to learn the real you? Because the only person you present to them are the people they see on the camera. So if you only present yourself a certain way, there's just no possible way for them to be like, hmm, you know what? Uh, maybe she's a scholar. Maybe she doesn't want to be talked to that way. There's just no way for us to know that. There's just no way to know that because there are women who are seductive and sexual like that. And that's how they are when you meet them in real life. That's really how they are. They got a bunch of kids by a bunch of different men. They really like to spread them legs open. That's how some women are. Some women are caught up in addiction. They may be caught up in insecurities. They may have childhood trauma and they do give up the cheeks. Men aren't going to go looking into your past and be like, hmm. Why does she want to call me up tonight? And why does she want me to come over and give her the pipe? Could it be that when she was 13 years old, her father said some mean words to her? I mean, who's going to sit down and do all that, dog? And I know it could be way more horrific than that, but nobody has, nobody's going to sit down and do that with you. You're going to have to do the work yourself. Now, Mrs. Reese, Miss Re Mrs. Reese, Miss Reese is a young individual, so I'm not going to kill her for wearing a short short. I don't. She's part of the. She's part of the industry now. She's not part of just the WNBA. She because the WNBA women tend to be kind of more masculine, but they are starting to show more of the feminine side from the women. She <laughs> is a black woman. Okay, we know how black women get portrayed in the media. She is following the script. Okay, I don't know if that's who she is. I don't know her. She somebody could be in her ear being like, hey, I need you to wear. We need people to talk about you. You better go out there in that onesie and show what you got because we trying to get your numbers up. We trying to get your money up. And for you to do that, you're going to have to show some things. You not Caitlin. Caitlin can just shoot a basketball. She ain't got to show no cheeks. You, you got to show cheeks because why? In this case, we know why. One, in this case, she's not as talented as Kayla. Two, that is how black women are portrayed in the media. That's how black women have been portrayed for a very long time. Some women open their eyes one day and they go, whoa, maybe I'm not a sexual object. There's plenty of black women who don't act that way. But they don't get portrayed in the media. Nobody cares about them. Nobody wants to see a businesswoman talking inarticulate, getting on there and be like, 
I believe that we should do these things and we can actually start to see some progress with our women. I believe when we start to show our women that there is a, another way out. Nobody wants to hear that shit. They want to see twerking and burking. <laughs> twerking and burkins. That's all they want to see, baby. Twerking and burkins. Okay, so they can get more black women to twerk and buy burks. And it's just a circle that never stops. So I ain't Reese. Like I said, she's still young, so I can't kill her. I can't be like, oh, I expect her to have it all. That's embarrassing. I can't expect Angel Reese to have it all together right now. I just can't. That's just silly to even think. So she's caught up in the system. And I hope she finds her way out. If she does it, she'll be getting twerking and burkins for a long time. Okay, she's part of Shaq. And I know some people, I don't know, really know how to feel about Shaq. I don't know the man personally. Based off all the things I've seen over the last few years, I do think Shaq likes younger women. Okay, I can't blame him for that. I got no problem with that. But do I think he? Do I think behind the scenes he's probably more sexual than he's leading on? Probably. I think Shaq can probably be more sexual. Uh, but I, I, mean, I don't know these men, so I don't know. I can't. I'm not gonna come down crushing on Shaq because he said you look good in them shorts. Okay, I'm just not gonna crush him for that. But at the same time, I'm not surprised. You give a lot of men money. You give a lot of men whatever they want, they're going to talk a certain way. I just think it's foolish for us to think that Shaq isn't probably, there's probably a very good chance that Shaq is attracted to Angel. There's probably a good chance that he's attracted to Angel, and if he had the option, he'd probably date her, but he can't do it because she's out there and nobody would accept it. Maybe behind the scenes, I don't know. I don't know if we'll ever know, nor do I really care that much. And if they do end up getting together for some odd reason, it'd be weird as she said he's like a father figure, but at the same time, you know, Women do date older men. Whether you believe it or not, we don't forget that Brittany Renner, who is, what, 34 now? Brittany Renner was seen with Shaq. Shaq is going to take whoever he feels like is going up, and if he finds them attractive, he's going for him. And to be fair, <laughs> Angel's going to be very, very impressionable because she's so young. So I, I can see Shaq doing that. But like I said, all this could be a publicity stunt, so I don't really want to put it on those two. I'm just taking a scenario of a regular woman and a regular man. Now, I address the woman's side of it. Just want to address the man's side of it right quickly. A 52-year-old man, if this was any regular 20-year-old that we don't know who they are, and they dress just like Miss Reese does and does all these things, how would I feel? If he came into it, giving her money in the beginning, doing the whole Reebok thing, coming to her when she was kind of out of high school, just getting into college, is always around. Seeing as the father figure, I'd have trouble with that. Um... Mainly because then I feel like she hasn't really got to grow up. Remember, she was she came into LSU really a nobody, but she was pretty famous pretty quickly um, because she won the national championship. I feel like when you got a young girl who's like that, when all everything's coming at her way too fast, way too fast. I don't think that would be the time to try to say things like that about her or even it be a thought like and i said not just miss reese i'm talking about this is a regular 20 year old who's got the same things happening to her as angel i just don't think it'd be a good idea because she's just gonna go for anything and everything i'm sure she doesn't come from wealth and she's gonna try to build herself up and she's gonna have all these other women in her ear telling her girl you better do what you gotta do girl you better get the money you better do what you gotta do to keep it burning keep it running you better shake that ass you better you better wear these kind of clothes you do what you gotta do because the bad thing from once again not talking about miss reese in particular but imagine another girl in the same situation and there's another girl across the street from you a girl you can see who is way more famous than you are because she's just more skilled in her particular profession than you are and you got to try to keep up with that you're going to try to make the same money she does and you're going to have other women in your ear saying, girl, you want to make money like her? You, you're going to have to do something different. Basketball ain't going to be it. It's going to be something else. So I don't think in this situation what Shaq is doing would be right. If he was to get with her or date her, I think that'd be detrimental to her. And that's the thing that sucks about being young with money is you're going to be behind the ball no matter what. Socially, it's just going to be tough. Unless you got really good mentors in your life, you're probably going to fall behind. And by the time a woman like this can get married and find somebody... I mean, there is the um, what's um her her name, Simone Biles. You can go her route because she was very famous, and she found a man who makes millions as a Green Bay Packer. Well, he's he plays for somebody else now, 
But he was making a lot of money too. So that worked out. Maybe it can work for her. But Simone Biles didn't go down the same route as this individual was going. Simone didn't get on there twerking and burking. She was so skipped. She is the Caitlin Clark. See, Simone had a better option because she was so skilled. She didn't have to go shaking that booty to get the, get the things going. You know what I mean? This individual is going to have to do more. And I'm not saying Miss Reese is shaking her ass. I'm saying she's going to be more sensual. Simone didn't have to do that because she was the Caitlin Clark. She, I mean, she's obviously very talented and has multiple medals and it's still great. Caitlin Clark is not going to have to do what Angel Reese does because Caitlin is so gifted and so skilled and people will watch her and they don't care if she comes out in short shorts. They just want to see her play ball. Angel's not the same. Angel's going to have to do something to get to our community to push herself into another light. And it's just unfortunate. So, I don't know. I, I, I don't think what Shaq is doing is right if he ends up doing that. Don't know if he will. In my opinion, at the end of the day, honestly, it doesn't matter. It's not going to affect their lives at all. But you let me know what you guys think about that. I mean, I don't know. But anyway, I'm done with this topic.